Good morning everybody and welcome to day nine. So we're up early this morning, like I said, it's about quarter past eight and we've come for breakfast in the Imperial Lounge. We just sat downstairs today because we don't actually open upstairs till nine o'clock and we're not with our other family so we don't need to sit upstairs. Um, I mean, I've ordered French toast this morning. I've only had the French toast once off the menu here and it was really nice so I've ordered French toast. Matilda's gone to have a look around and then we're going to head for the kayaking and paddleboarding on the beach at nine o'clock. Okay, we're all done with breakfast and we're going down to the water sports. So it's just here where we was the other day for going into Aquaventure. So this is where you wait to go um, on the buses. Well, the little Aquaventure Express, they're calling it. This is where we came out of the door there, just next to where um, Fuego is, um, Bread Street Kitchen, the little playground area. And we're going to go down the beach here. And the water sport hut is actually here. So we're about five minutes early at the minute. It's only five to nine and it starts at nine, but we thought we'd just get here five minutes early in case you had to like register for it or anything. Oh, I've got a big um, pebble, pe not a pebble, shell in my shoe. <laughs> I've got a shell in my flip flop. Um, so we know it starts at nine. We just don't know what we have to do or anything. So we thought if we came down, five minutes early we can see what we have to do how we register how it works and everything and this is the bit of the water that you do it on so we're gonna go over and see how it all works okay so we've just come inside and while we're waiting to do the waiver forms and things the kayaking is free this morning for hotel guests for one hour but this is all the other types of things that they do here and all the different prices. So there's like yachts and boat cruises. There's non-motorized sports. Then there's self-drive guided tours. Motorized activities. I can't believe how many there is. Look at all these. It's crazy. All prices are per person, it says as well. And we're all finished. We did about half an hour. Yeah. It well, was really good. We highly recommend it. Yeah, we worked very but Yeah, I would definitely recommend it because it's free. And there was actually other people were um, paddle boarding. The other couple wasn't there. And then a man and his son came. So because Matilda was under 12, we had to do a double kayak. But once they get over 12, he said they can do any water sport by themselves. I can't imagine it's any water sport. I think he must mean the paddle board, you know, the kayaking. Yeah, but you wanted to do um, We wanted to do a double anyway, yeah. But when she's over 12, we both could have done like an individual kayak and we could have both done like individual paddle boarding. But it was so good, wasn't it? Like the photos that we've got. We'll try and like include one or you'll be able to see it on Instagram anyway. Um, but the photos that we got were just, and that's the photos that I really want. It was just really fun as well. Yeah. But the man said, oh, you got out at a good time. It's getting very hot now, <laughs> which it is. It's 32 now. Yeah, 32 at the minute. So it is hot and it's only half past nine in the morning. <laughs> so we're going to quickly whiz to the room. Luckily, me and Matilda aren't wet because we didn't get, we didn't fall in. You're wet, aren't you? Because you had to go in the sea to take pictures. <laughs> but me and Matilda aren't wet. But we're quickly going to go up anyway because Ant needs to change his top. And was going to put a different dress on. And then we're gonna go and do the Lost Chambers, um, like behind the scenes tour. So it was like a postcard in our room. I'm not sure if it's just for like Imperial Club rooms. I don't know if it's right. I don't, I don't honestly, I don't know. Um, it's called the Fish Tales Behind the Scenes Tour. And we haven't done it yet. And I think the first one was, I think it was like half nine, 10, half 10. And then I think it went like three, half three or something. Oh, was it? Okay, so we're going to go for the 10 o'clock tour. So it's only half nine now, so we've got half an hour. So we're going to go and quickly have a quick whiz, go for the Fish Tales tour, and then we're going to go and jump in the pool. So we'll see you at the Lost Chambers. OK, 
Okay, so the aquarium opens currently at 10 a.m. till 9 p.m. These are a few of the experiences that you can do for the aquarium. So you've got dive discovery, dive explorer, and predator dive. Oh, I was trying to show you the prices. Now it's gone off. I'll have to wait for it to come back. There you go. So there's the prices here. You can be. Off we go, so we're off on the behind the scenes tour. We're going to see the fish hospital. So this is the Lost Chambers Aquarium. It's really well themed in here. Look at all this. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, look at that in the middle. Wow. Then only they will be going to our mystery tank. We have one there. Yes. Which is inside our aquarium. You may be already seen that open aquarium. Yeah. Right. That's all. Because the nest, that's the nursery tank for the babies. After two months, they will be there. Oh. Up to one and a half year. After that, according to our conservation program, we are releasing back to the ocean also. Oh, so okay. we are keeping only some of them inside our aquarium. Oh, wow. Then we go back to the wild. Because first, the of sharks, stingrays are under massive commercial fishing. Actually, sharks are very important. And the blue water is also safe. The filtration system. Then there are the same protein coming from the fish waste. Most of them are in the crab also the, over there. That's the center. is a quarantine tank so because they've come from another aquarium they have to be in quarantine to make sure they have no diseases baby piranhas in quarantine It's real? Yes, real one. Ma. We have three three sharp jaw, but oh, we okay. just take it out to aquaria. Now this one is the short fin mako shark. Oh, okay. Like you can see the teeth. Teeth is like oh. inverse. So the, this shark what do? Even small fish also come inside. They block it by the teeth. So oh. even small fish also cannot come back. Can I get back out? Yes, the flesh bone yeah. will come out. Just that teeth. Matilda, do you have a teeth? Slowly. Yes. Yes. With that you can feel the roughness yes. on the skin. <laughs> the dorsal fin of a shark. Wow, gosh, that's really good. Yeah. Matilda, have a touch. Yes. yes. Oh my gosh, look at the baby shark. Until they hatch out, they the food for them. If they are, they will be inside. 75 to 80 days is that. Big ones. They can be belong up to one meter only. Wow. So how long till they? How long do they? Do they stay in there? Then they hatch. 75 to 80 days. 75 to 80 days. Yeah. Wow. And see, when they are blue, it is like fully uh, yolk only. Oh, and yes. Small embryo. Oh, large. I see. Yeah, yeah small embryo. <laughs> Yeah, some of them are like large and real hatching part. Arabian pepper shark, bamboo shark, and zebra shark. Wow. And after they hatch out inside, this is the mermaid's purse. Look, Matilda. It's already hatched out a bit, the shark. That's great. If you look this side, you can see that one after two to three months.
are in here but they're microscopically small you can only see them under a microscope that's crazy My favorite. I love them. It's very beautiful. And jellyfish, their body consists of 95 percentage water and 5 percentage protein. This, this one also visible on the body. When they are all well fed, the center the color will be orange. The circles will be orange. Very, uh, very beautiful to see that one. The combination blue and orange. Babies. Oh, baby stingray. Look at the hole. Oh, you can see them popping out. humans the baby stingray so they've got to check them to make sure there's nothing wrong with them and the quarantine ones and then this is where all the different pipes are different coloured waters the English hospital so it's the yeah. food preparation <laughs> oh gosh it's very very fishy <laughs> fruits also okay. this freshwater fish like uh, lettuce cucumber tomato nice. like that is that squid yes yeah this is my nice. squid oh, yeah. <laughs> you having that for your tea yeah. <laughs> uh, that's uh, like a mackerel i think mackerel or tuna What's tuna like tuna tuna yeah. tuna, yeah. tuna, yeah. tuna yeah. oh yeah tomatoes yeah <laughs> yes tomato lettuce lettuce yeah because we've seen them having things yeah let's go out there no problem here deep aquaria and 72 meter long 34 meter wide okay. and it's hold 11.5 milliliter natural sea water and the thickness of the glass is 23 centimeter so, wow yes so like a full scale <laughs> so 
we've finished the fish tails tour and we've come out into the aquarium. This is amazing in here. The theming's really good. Oh my gosh, look at these here. So clear. as well is amazing it's just like all like really really just super themed it's like the theming of it is just so well done isn't it oh look at that up there it's a shark okay so it's coming down look oh wow look at look at that stingray that's huge <laughs> My goodness! Well, I can say, look at whoa, Matilda. There's another big one. Look at that big one. Whoa! Look at that. My gosh! That was a huge stingray. Oh, that's good. Education station. Hello, we're back again. <laughs> Everything here now. Wow, this is another section. Look at this. Really is like Lost Chambers. Really is like the theme, isn't it, of the Lost Chambers? Like you can tell the theming, can't you? Everything really is like a lost theme, isn't it? I've just realised it's real. That's a big fish. Look at that, there's another one down here. Oh my gosh, what's that fish yeah. I didn't realise it was real. What's the fish and chips? Like, still, episode, just so your head compared to it. It, it. Like, it's massive, yeah. And like every attraction, it leads you into the gift shop. <laughs> so that's where we went in over there. I've only filmed sections of it because I don't want to film the whole of the Lost Chambers. Obviously, I want people to be able to see some parts of it themselves as well. There was even this big bit here in, just in the gift shop. And there's lots of things in here you can buy. Fridge magnets. Even like little ears. Look. Socks. Lots and lots of teddies as always. So there's a variety of things you can buy in here. Really nice souvenirs and things. Just next to the kids club is something called the hospitality lounge. We'd never seen it before, but somebody told um, my mother-in-law at gastronomy that you can come in here. So it's completely free. They have like a hockey table thing here. They've got computer games for the children. Um, they've got another little game over here. They've got chess. They've got a lovely little lounge area here you can sit in. And they've got all kinds of like board games here that you can play. Pictionary and things. Like, um, I'll show you in this one. So it's like little cubicles that you go in here. And you can just play games on them. So that one's got Fortnite on it. So that one's got a PlayStation, comfy chairs. And then you can get free drinks as well. So there's like a coffee machine over here, isn't there? Um, and you can get coffees, you can get teas. They've got milk in the fridge here. And then there's water. Oh, Mr. that's your bag there. That's what you've just bought. Decaf coffees. And it's literally just, if you open the door, Matilda, so we can show where it is. Just literally right here where the kids club is. Just where the Yep, so kids club is here. And it's just there called the hospitality lounge. So we just nipped into kids club just to check if the Falcon thing was on this afternoon for Matilda. And it is, it's on. So we're going to head to the room now just to pass back our bag. Um, Matilda got a little Atlanta snow globe from the um, wash chambers. And then we're going to grab our swimming stuff and head off to the pool. So we've just been speaking to, who was he? Daniel, the room's director. Um, just because Aunt's mum is quite friendly with him now because she's been that many times. And he was talking about asking Matilda if she enjoyed the kids club and did, did what did she think of it and he's just told us that they're actually building a kids club that's going to be way bigger 
near saffron which is going to be here he said it's going to have a stem club a stem room it's going to have a cookery room and um, they say it's going to be amazing it's going to be opening in was it october it's going to open yeah the aim is october this year if oh yeah by the end of this year if not but i'm assuming it's going to be here because he definitely said near saffron and this is kind of an area that they've partitioned off is it something they've had in the mines for a while now and they're definitely going to do it so sounds exciting we've ended up back at the burger joint so matilda's gone for her same what was it the little kids burger because she loved it yesterday and we've gone for the smoky brisket which was smoky brisket onion rings nice coleslaw barbecue sauce and we got sweet potato fries with it as well so we've picked Matilda up from Kids Club. How old Matilda, what was it like with the Falcon? Really good. I know, did that sign. You said it was really good, didn't you? And you said that, um, didn't you say there was an owl as well? Yep, Billy the Barn Owl. Billy the Barn Owl. That is his name, Billy the Barn Owl. And you had your photo taken with the yeah. Falcon. Really good though, you learn about the Falcons, you learn... That has come this week and win 50,000 pounds if your Falcon catches a toy on the end of a plane. Jeez. Oh, was the falcon? Did you show? Did you show it eating something? No. No. Oh, okay. Because we thought. So Sorry. Out of one head. lift into another lift. People so keep getting in the lift. People keep getting out of the lift. Right. Yeah. So you didn't see the falcon eat anything. You did see the owl eat a piece of meat, but when the owl still wouldn't come, he used a little bit of fluff that looked like a mouse oh. to get the owl to come over. It, oh wasn't, God, it just turned work. its head all the way around the way. Did it? Because it wanted, because it wanted to mouse. No, it's because people were talking to it, but the owl. Oh, it got distracted. Oh, okay. Eventually, the owl came when it saw the little mouse thing, like. Oh, that's quite funny. It saw a little bit of me. It was like, oh, again. <laughs> I'm coming now. I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> Billy the barn owl. Billy the barn owl. Where did they live then? Uh, so the man didn't say that. He had oh, the peregrine falcon, which he had his arm, and he had a. Like a little heart suit, but only the beak was coming out, and it was like a white thing that covered the eye. Yeah, they do that, don't they? Yeah. So, the so you've done that, haven't you? would like stay calm. And yeah, and you had a picture, didn't you, as well? Yeah, it was really good. That was good. And then we took you into um, the Imperial, Imperial Club, where I saw my friends. So you could see your friend before we go tomorrow. What's your friend's name? Where I saw my friend, what's my friend's name? I'm so Brenda. Brenda. So we I saw Brenda, say Brenda. But she's there later, isn't she? So we've come yeah. back out again. We've got changed and dressed ready for dinner. And we're heading to Wave House. Wave House for the last time. <laughs> so we're gonna spend the last of our dirhams in Wave House. Yay. We're gonna then cash in all of our tickets that we Yay. win. Hopefully we'll win some more before we cash them I in. Really want the Monopoly. We're gonna choose what we can buy for but what, yeah. what, 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 we're not buying it really are we? we're just cashing in well, we the money we've kind of spent <laughs> We've spent money doing this and then we've done that so we're gonna do that yeah yeah and then we are going to head to Haleo for oh no then we're gonna probably go back to the Imperial Club aren't we actually oh, yeah. to see your family for the last happy hour then we'll head to Haleo hey. now we've topped it up Matilda's going on her favourite game Scooby Dooby Doo! Let's see how she goes today. Big push, Matilda. So we paid 100 dirhams, which got us 200 dirhams worth because it's double the fun. What did you get? 50 tickets! Whoa, look at that! And then she walks off and leaves us to collect the tickets oh, while she goes on another game. And we are all done in the arcade after a lot of hassle. Hello. There were some children that were doing a little bit Basically of cheating. Basically stopped the monopoly, die on the bonus. Yeah, the manager had to come over and tell them a few times. It wasn't us, we didn't say anything, the manager came over, um, I saw her. And we're back in the Imperial Club. 
um, we saw some children cheating on some of the games. Um, we saw the manager come over a few times and tell some children off. Um, to be fair, it was a bit sneaky. They were like stopping the uh, Monopoly die um, so that it was on a different kind of um, stopped on like a bonus and things like that. So they were getting like 550 tickets a time. <laughs> And then they were all running and screaming, they climbed over the top where like the basketball kind of games are, so that they could pass the ball to each other and just lob them through faster and faster and faster. They broke one of the games, so it was a bit chaotic in there. I think people just kind of left the kids to have run a bit of a muck tonight. Um, but Matilda did her little bit, she got lots of tickets, exchanged them all, lots of prizes. Sorry, I just thought Brenda, she's so lovely, I really love her. She gave me a big hug. Um, so we're just going to go up now, see if we're close to our family for a little bit before we head off to um, the Royal for our dinner. So we will catch up shortly. Okay, and we've made it over to the Royal. Yay. Just as beautiful as it was two nights ago. Last night. <laughs> was it last night? Yes. We were in M3 go last night. Oh. Gastronomy was the night before. It's a little bit lighter now though, because when we went to Gastronomy, we wasn't booked in, was we, till 8 o'clock? <gasps> oh, jeez. That. Sorry, I didn't shouldn't have filmed that. That little girl just fell in the pool. Really is beautiful in the light. So it was darker, wasn't it? Because yeah. we had gastronomy at eight o'clock. Whereas like now it's seven, it's lighter, isn't it? So everything looks a lot brighter and lighter out now. So we're gonna go and have a look outside and have a little nosy. Ah, so this is what it was called the other night then, Elements Terrace Lounge. See, I do, I do like this though. Yeah. I do think this is nice. Like I could see just sitting here, just chilling, having a drink, like even just having a glass of water. I'd just the interior of the pub's got a balcony up there. Yeah, do you think so? It is really nice. Look at it. It's not actual. Oh, it's fire in the middle there. Look. Yeah. Those ones are flames, but these ones aren't. These ones yeah. are just. Well, those ones are actual flames. So is LAO down there or something? Yeah. I'm going to say I'm not going down if it's not. <laughs> Save my legs. I mean, all these like really like nice sunken little. The way they've designed it is very very clever. Very clever. And we found it. So we literally saw the fountains, came in the door here. Oh, that's funky there, like a reflective ball. And then Haleo is just here. So we're just about to go in for our dinner. Oh, that's good. The menu is right here. Can have a little look at the menu here. But we'll have a look at the one when we get inside because we are half born anyway, so. Oh, look at this. This is the Haleo half board menu. I've noticed a lot of these half board menus, even though you're paying a supplement to eat in the restaurant, you then got to pay another supplement to eat off the menu, which is a bit naughty, really, that they're charging you more well, again. You stay in here, you don't eat off that, you eat off the normal menu and have a credit. Yeah, so anything that has a price next to it, you have to pay extra. So we've already paid 100 dirhams each for me and Anne and 50 for Matilda. She's got a kid's menu. But anything that has a price next to it, you have to pay that extra price if you want that. So it was two off this menu. So these are like the starting tapasses. So you choose any two off this. Then it's one main. So again, anything that has a price, you have to pay the price. If you wanted paella, we both, both had to have the paella. So we could both have the regular paella with shrimp um, or, chicken. or chicken or the vegetarian one and there would be no charge but we both had to have it because it was two mains mm. would equate to one big paella. Yeah. Then you get a dessert so one of the desserts is an extra charge as well and then you are allowed um, soft drinks, juices. juices and water is included as well and then they've just brought over this now we said it's a welcome taste explosion and um, is that it's like a 
what is it? A pepper? Peppers and things like that inside it. Peppers and things inside. Good. You've got to try and like eat it all in one yeah, go. Pop it in your mouth. And pop it in your mouth. So you get like the explosion of flavours as you eat. It's like a welcome yeah, we'll taste. Go to try Matilda. Come on, then let's film so you trying it. I want to film your face, yes. Oh, well done, all in one go. Whoa. Oh. Is it good? <laughs> Is it a woe good or a woe bad? It's a woe, what on earth is that? It's a woe, what on earth is that? She's a woe in the middle. Daddy woe. Ready for the explosion of flavours? How was it? Nice. Perfect. So the yeah. first appetizer is come, or tapas, and Anne ordered the tortilla new way. Yeah. And it's basically like a deconstructed tortilla. Yeah, deconstructed, reconstructed. Deconstructed, basically like the caramelised onion is like on the bottom, and then it's like a soft poached egg yeah. is like in the middle, and then it's like the potato and the cheese is on top. So it's like, like dig down, and then all the flavours kind of combine as you dig into it. This is Matilda's potato brava, and grilled chicken with mashed potato. I think the only thing is the kids menu in this is not actually amazing yeah, because the they've changed the, the bravas to ketchup and mayonnaise that have the actual like aioli and tomato sauce that it should be. This is the chicken croquets. This is the adult potato bravas version. Potatoes bravas. Sorry, Matilda's does have aioli. It's just the ketchup that's different. It's not the spicy brava sauce. It's ketchup because their brava sauce here is a bit of kind of spice in it. So they've given a ketchup instead of the brava sauce, but it is aioli. So this is the Wagyu beef short rib with mashed potato. So we're out. And this is not the actual proper show. It's just a little mini one that's going off until the big one starts. Um, we weren't that keen on the Leo, to be honest. I don't think it was worth the supplement charge. The starters were all right. Um, the short rib was nice, but just the thing. We didn't stay for dessert because we're just really, really full. We're quite tired. And to be honest, the menu didn't feel it wasn't very appealing for dessert. Matilda could literally have like one dessert, wasn't it? Was it actually not? Was it for Matilda that big custard? I think that was it, yeah. Um, and I think like it's a shame sometimes because like, yes, Matilda's a child on the menu. And obviously that's fine because we get to pay that child's price, but there's no like option for it to have something that's actually relatable to that restaurant. Like it was a piece of grilled chicken and mashed potato. Not really sure what that's got to do with the Spanish theme of Haleo. So sometimes it's hard for children's menus like that, but we've just come and sat in a little sunken lounge area. We're hoping no one's gonna ask us to buy a drink. Um, but we're just sitting here, there's just a few people just sitting in them not doing anything at the moment. And the actual show starts in just over 10 minutes. It's just about 17 minutes, just gone um, nearly 20 past eight now. So I think this one's going off at quarter past the mini show. So we're gonna wait for the half past eight show and then we're gonna head back to the hotel.
it's got back on the bus. It's really cool. Is it like a Mercedes? But it's like a party bus because <laughs> it has more the lights. It's really cool. It has like single seats here and then double seats on this side that me and Matilda were sat in. It's pretty funky, isn't it? You can't. So I'm showing you out there and you can't see anything. But it's a cool little sort of temperature at the time. It's really, really big. We're in a party, party. We are back at the hotel. We've got like a boat out tonight on the on the sea. I've never seen this before. Look at this. It's like a proper party boat. I'm really gonna miss this view tomorrow night. I feel like so sad now. It's gorgeous. staying for the fountains at the Royal. They're really, really good. Like I said the other night, you could just go for the fountains. They are amazing. Haleo was okay, but I wouldn't recommend it, especially with the supplement. I think it was expensive for what it was. So this is gonna be the last video. Last night in Dubai. We'll have our travel home day tomorrow. But our last night in Dubai. I'm leaving you with a lovely view. So, thank you for watching our videos. I really hope you've enjoyed our Dubai holiday just as much as we've enjoyed it. We really, really fell in love with it here. Like I said, thank you for watching. Please give us a thumbs up and a like and a subscribe is always appreciated. And we will see you all soon. And it's a bye for now.